Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Deus Ex. Last time, we heard some, yeah, some interesting, but very cryptic information from the intro. We stuck our way through an entire island full of terrorists, got some interesting political philosophy from the leader, and now it's time to do the most important and now it is time to go back through this island and loot everything. Everything not nailed down, and then we take the nails. Yeah, the uh, bodies have already been taken. Taken for everything they have, of course. But that doesn't mean there isn't still stuff laying around here. Like, for instance, this little thing. This is an act. Well, actually. It's a little thing, little easy lockpick, but all it's got is these, which I really don't care about. All they do, they're just medical bots. Could have been useful if I had fought my way through the place or some such, but not useful now. Honestly, <laughs> probably not worth spending a lockpick on in general, really. Okay, what else, what else, what else? I already got the one there, right? Yeah. Oh, but I haven't, f but I haven't got the other thing that was in the water. A different water. And there's those two brothers who were debating rhetoric and such. Dead now. I'd have knocked them out so they wouldn't have died. Cause they were pretty neat, but knocking those two out is always such a hassle. I'm sure I could, I'm sure I could have done it stealthily through manipulation of their AI. And I've done it before, but it's always so, so damn annoying to deal with those two. It's so easy for, for things to just fail and you wind up getting caught and shot a few times. I realize that not saving their lives because it would be a hassle is a bit gauche, but I mean, they probably would have been executed anyways. So, meh. You got anything to say? Cause I, I didn't kill that guy that he wanted me not kill. You're a man of your word. I like that. Thanks. What? I'm just waiting for a ride. Alright. So. Here we go. This little place. With this little lock. Which I should easily be able to pick. My level 1 lock skill. Actually... Ah, crap. Hmm. That's a bit awkward. Oh, wait a minute, I've already got it. I have a modification accuracy. Well, I don't need it on the dart, so... Let's give it to the pistol, why not? But they don't stack. I mean, they stack on the weapon, but you know what I mean. <laughs> 77. Nice. Uh -oh. I guess my one level of swimming didn't quite afford me that much luxury. Oh well. Shotgun, don't care. Don't really have the ammo for, although... Reload. That could come in handy. Hmm. There is that. I mean, I say I don't have enough space for that, but I could always stack it onto the rocket launcher. Because there's a trick there. I don't know if I should it. I think I might have. Do that, and then doink, and then look. Kind of hard to actually get at it, though, once it's there. Oh well. Not that I really need a shotgun. Ah, yes. Here we go. Lock for enough to... Well, two picks. Interesting. What are my skill points looking at right now? 1325. Nah. Yeah. Well... 
I could spend two picks opening this up. Or, or, I could stand well back and do that. And my reward is ammo for, I think, the assault rifle and 100 bucks. I don't think that was worth it. But yeah, I mean, they put a fucking 40% block there, and all it's covering is a few bucks and some assault rifle ammo. I don't even remember if you can get an assault rifle in this mission. I mean, maybe. Now you can get a sniper rifle. Okay, I think that's everything, everything around there. There might be some secrets in there, but I forget where. <laughs> that rhymed. More importantly, though... I thought you went a little soft on the NSF. The guys had to mop up for I used necessary force. Well, necessary force won't work when we're chasing sons of bitches into the city. You better load up on some hardware. Score an extra scope on a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. Also picked up some 10 millimeter ammo and some crossbow darts. Say 200 for one and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Carter? He don't care. NSF goods are the spoils of war. We're risking our lives out here. Alrighty then. I'll take the darts. The scope is kind of a mixed blessing, to be honest. It does bad. It, it does bad things to your accuracy if it's if your accuracy is too high. It, it's weird. Here's sixty for the tranquilizer I don't really darts. Need these, don't forget but... to read them their rights. <laughs> Shut up. Since I can just since I'm mostly using them as distractions, and I can just pick them up afterwards. But way to go, sir. Thanks. A bit more. uh... Wherewithal. Go awry. Alright. Go. Security key pop. A key pad. Only a 10%. Only a 10% uh, multi tool thing in the jig. And an infinite lock thing. <laughs> but I don't even need to bother because I know what the key code is. It's the same one it always is 0451. Which is basically the video game equivalent of making your password one two three four. Like, come on. Let's see. Satcom Unatco 001. P.S. We will be you at Dark Sets on Saturday, suck ass. Oh, suck ass, not suck ass. Whoops. Um, wait, hang on, what was it again? Satcom Unatco 001. There we go. I don't really need to turn off the cameras, but oh well. Whatever. Might as well, for fun. And... Here we go. Hmm. That's the obvious secret around here. But as for less obvious secrets... There was this place with the lockpick, and also, if I recall, let's see, where is it? Here we go. Yeah, that just is the key for the for this hatch. Not the most useful thing in the world, I admit, but it's still amusing. And of course, there's the uh, lockpick back there as well. I can't like wait to get to New York and finish. It. A lot more useful. Alright. Let's talk to our brother. Alas. We've got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. Huh. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. Get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office. All right. Here we are. At the Inaco headquarters. Is there... Is there anything up there? I don't know. Hmm. 
I bet I could probably get up there with some clever use of lands and the furniture. Get closer. Stupid house plant. Here we go. Yep. Damn it. Out of the way. This is stupid. What am I doing? There's like 99% certain that there's absolutely nothing else there. I'm about 80% certain that I can't get up there anyways with my limited supplies of land. Yeah, see? Can't even look up there. Unless I could stack a box on here, maybe. Wait! I think this can be placed as a mine as well. And still not enough. Damn it! Wait! Gas grenades! Of course, I've got four of them! Right? This is stupid. This is really stupid. But you know what? It's my kind of stupidity. Huh. 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 can just barely see up there, but can't tell if there's anything up there. I should just need one, maybe two more. Huh. 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 Am I up? Uh, huh. I'm not up, am I? Huh. Oh, maybe I am? Huh. One more. Okay. Nope! Oh. What? Where'd it go? Damn it. It tried to drop- it tried to place it and also drop it at the same time. And then it went weird. That's my last one. If that's not enough... Well, wait, no it isn't. No, no, this is my last one, right. I got confused. Because it wasn't in my hotbar. If that's not- if that's not enough... Shit! Wait, what am I doing? I'm stupid. I could have just done that the whole time. Okay, I'm up! And just as I suspected, there's jack shit up here! Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Oh, wait. I guess I've been- I've gone- come this far, I might as well check the other one, even though there's... 99% certain. Let me see if I can get over there. There's one more. Come on. So damn. Ah! Yeah, I don't think there's anything up there. Damn way it. Way to go, sir. I thought Gunther was a goner. <laughs> I heard him his way to go, sir, and I thought he was being sarcastic for a second there. Okay. This was a complete. Uh, this was a colossal waste of time. No, everything you just did was insane. And we are at the top. Whatever. At least I didn't waste any actual resources. Other than, again, my time. That was stupid. Why did I do that? Whatever. Way to go, sir. I thought Gunther was a goner. Thanks, mate. Shannon, ammunition is disappearing again, so we're changing the door code for the combat. It's my first day pack. too. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> wow, they really want you to get into that damn comm station, don't they? I was in your class at the academy. You probably don't remember. I can't tell you guys apart, to be honest. Let's see, what's in your computer? Let's find out. Let's hack into his computer at random. Why not?
Um. New agent. Is it. Make, if he's under the log, we're Commander Lee's office okay. is on level two. He's expecting you. Hopefully that print screen worked. Yes, okay, here we go. And on. Re. Nobody cares. Was nationalizing industry. Michelle, whatever, wrote. I just read that the government regulators have nationalized the third airline this year. And the story was buried on the sixth page of the Times. No one seems to care that Uncle Sam is gradually taking control of every means of public transportation. The FAA <coughs> claims that the airline's management botched the safety records. Lies! Lies! Have any of these records been made public? Do they even exist? <sighs> Rule by executive order is now the norm. Goodbye, due process. What you have to remember is that we the people are members of a republic, and you must l learn to trust those that you choose to represent you. The government is not a heartless machine running our lives. It's comprised of people just like you who deserve our trust and respect. Right. The problem there is, if you can't trust the people to govern themselves, why should you trust them to govern each other? Because that's the problem. They are made up of people, just like you and me. So why... Check in with Manderly on level 2. So if we don't trust the average person to... to... govern himself, then why should we trust him to govern others? It's especially funny when you, when you like, talk to people who are like, Oh, the, uh, the populace is hopeless sheep or whatever that needs to be governed or whatever. It's just like, they're the same damn people that are governing these places. When did I take so much time with my torso? Huh. Come on in. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. <laughs> Convenient. So I'm not sure I actually have eyes. Remember that Mr. Manderly wants to see Shut up. level two. His secretary, Janice Reed, has your login and password. We finally got to cap some rebels, eh, Denton? Ha. <laughs> sure. Ah. Hell of a first day. Indeed. Hmm. Pick the log. Give me an accuracy thing, I'm a jig. At the very least. Bet the NSF won't try that trick again. What trick did they do? How did they get so. Ha! There's a lockpick in there. I could. I could go in, I could pick this lock. And then I'd go in and replace that lockpick. Is there anything else in here that would make that worth it? Oh, a multi tool! Yes! Work. Okay, but first, I'm gonna see if there's any way I can get through that door otherwise. You know, increase my profit a bit. Your partner for the next assignment, Anna Navarra, is in the adjoining break room to the east. Maybe you should introduce yourself. What's this? Uh, what are those? Tranquilizer darts, some other kind of dart, and an, a third type of dart. I think those are incendiary and those are the regular. Well, I don't really need that many darts, to be honest. JC, mind if I call you JC? Oh, please, call me Jesus. UNATCO Handbook, UNATCO in the world. For far too long, terrorists have exploited international tensions and regional legislative variations to elude authorities. A significant- Glad to have you aboard. I'm reading. A significant step was made towards eliminating these legal loopholes when U.S. President Philip Riley Meade lobbied the Congress to make the U.S. a UNATCO member nation. Enough is enough, he declared in his landmark State of the Union address. I've had it with these mother, with these monkey fighting snakes in this Monday to Friday plane. And the citizens of the United States responded with enthusiastic endorsement of his position, I'll bet. Not only did the United States become a charter member of UNECO, but UNECO headquarters are now located on Liberty Island in the shadow of that shattered monument to freedom. Yeah, that's not symbolic at all. UNECO deals not only with terrorist threats, but also any transactions of the international legal code, including drug trafficking, software pi- Software piracy, excuse you! 
and money laundering. With the full support of the United States, UNECO was for the first time able to truly declare itself the world's policeman. Oh, that's comforting. Ah, yes, the most important conversation in the entirety of Deus Ex is about to occur. Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. <laughs> it's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. Hmm. And isn't that kind of a microcosm? Of this whole thing. <laughs> you know, it's uh, they're talking conversations about the system of the, the machinery, the machinery that undergoes that underpins the whole system, going awry, giving them something they didn't want that resembles what they did, but is different in very crucial things that defeats the whole point. One of them simply believes that, oh, surely this, surely you simply must have made a mistake because the machine, the system couldn't possibly be in the wrong. While the other uh, uh, blames the people that are maintaining the system. Neither comprehends the possibility that it might be the system itself that is the issue. That maybe this sort of rampant... Yes. That this sort of rampant... Uh, systemization of everything. Where we, we're represented by the vending machine as opposed to, say, the soda merchant. Or what have you. Might be the problem itself. If you catch my drift. It's really, it's really interesting sort of microcosm of the entire story of the... Of day, like, not, no, not only the entire story, but also of the political reality. I mean, I may, I mean, I'm pretty sure I made all of that up, but it sounds like it sounds reasonable, doesn't it? <laughs> Midnight Sun, Mead from Mars, Cape Canaveral. NASA scientists confirmed that the eroded remains of the Alba Patera crater on Mars precisely match the face of President Mead. <clears throat> And isn't that a microcosm in and of itself? It's him, declared senior planetary specialist Kevlar Umla. There's his nose, that ridge, see? See the crater rim marking his head hairline? The way he combs his hair appearing in this region of parallel valleys? The White House had no comment. Why would you expect it? However, Martin Wisdom, president of EA, enemies of aliens, <laughs> told Midnight Sun, This is the evidence we have been looking for, a warning that Mr. Mead is not human. He is probably a Martian general, a war hero, come here to conquer the Earth with the assistance of the United Nations. Ryan Allen, staff writer. Right. Yo. Forget how Ada Navarra is not friendly. She has every life to give for her partner. You should get moving. Whatever. My new partner, J.C. Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. Ah, well, my vision my is augmented. Sunglasses. At least it is a maze that we know when it's not bald. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, so excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. He will not be the equivalent of his brother. I have seen that he knows the procedure of a good offensive. Let us hope you are right. I won't let you down, Agent. <laughs> Especially when I'm higher than you, apparently. I, I won't let you down, because I have the high ground. We are going to see a lot of fighting. See Sam Carter on level 3 for your stealth pistol. <laughs> stealth pistols. Huh. I mean, they have some utility, I admit, but... They're calling it a stealth pistol is a little bit of an overstatement. I will not forget a favor. Always have trust for me. I'll remember that. When you inevitably let me down and try to kill me or something.
We're going to see a lot of fighting. See Sam Carter on level 3 for your stealth pistol. Oink. Aha! Closet key. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, what's in here then? I wonder if anyone finds it a bit suspect that I'm going around picking locks if you can't tell. A uh, multi tool and a bioelectric cell. Hmm. Maybe worth it, maybe not. What's in door number two? Cover cartridge. Alright, significantly less useful, but cheaper. You found your office. Did Janice give you your login? I guess not. Let's <laughs> see. JCD, password, bionic man. And here I thought I was gonna have to hack my own computer. Oh, what the hell, let's do it anyways. <laughs> Who knows what we'll find. Maybe someone else has a login here that I don't know about. That'd be a bit suspect. Uh... Yes. Okay. Quite a lot of people. This must be like a shared network or something that I'm hacking into. Uh... Alright, JCD, Bionic Man. What a what a password. Greetings and nanotech briefings. Hey JC. This will have to get used to calling you JC around the office. Uh not sure not sure where they came up with that, probably from my real name. <laughs> but at least they gave you the same last code name as your brother. Anyways, whatever they're calling you, it's good to finally see a familiar name on the roster. My first job has been to read up on your augmentations. I'm beginning to see why you found classes so easy. Every neuron in your head has been augmented. For example, the voice in your head from an operator, someone here at HQ has been has, at HQ able to handle the scanning equipment in your skull and broadcast advice from your infolink. So yes, you are not talking to yourself like a crazy person. Leaps fully formed into your temporal lobe, bypassing the eardrum and its sensory neurons. And it's perfectly inaudible to everyone around you, of course. Not to mention that the nanites clinging to your axons can both receive and transmit symbolic information. So if you ever need help, don't sweat it. Someone at HQ probably already knows. That's concerning. Come by if you want to hear more. This is great stuff. All that. Uh, no augmentations in you. I was asked by the regional medical coordinator to forward this information to all of you. I do so without further comment. It remains. By now, you've heard about the in upcoming transition to nano-augmentation. It's coming, but not as soon as you think. Unaco is only one nano-augmented agent, with a second just now graduating from the academy. It will be years before the program needs the laboratory. Your mechanical augmentations are not obsolete. Some agents express concerns that they will be walking junk in 10 years. One agent expressed their fears in an anonymous email saying, will be sold at flea markets. Markets, old grey golems for scaring the children. So what about my legs? What about my life? Sick. Keep some perspective. Prosthetics remain the only proven technology for enhancing human abilities. Those who make the sacrifice are appreciated, commended, and saluted as heroes. I mean, that doesn't really answer anything, any of his concerns. They're not, they're not obsolete, sure. But what about in ten years? Will they be then? Nano-augmentation stressors. Nano-augmented agents will often encounter stress created by resentment among fellow agents, particularly those who have been mechanically augmented. In an effort to secure freedom and liberty for those under their protection, many UNATCO agents have chosen to sacrifice social acceptance for mission performance by surgically replacing limbs and organs with mechanically or electronically enhanced equivalents. But your nano-augmentations point the way to the future. Thousands of microscopic, living, organic machines that exist in symbiosis with your body. Because such augmentations contain, create only minimal disfigurement, they are likely to be a source of friction between you and other mechanically augmented agents. But it is important to understand that UNACO is an organization where individuals must act in concert. Even in, each is important to the whole, and mutual understanding is essential to teams comprised of diverse human and augmented agents. Human and augmented agents? 
That's an odd distinction to make. If you have any further questions or wish to discuss these issues, please feel free to send email to all that to make an appointment. And welcome to a new UNATCO agent. Alright. What's this? UNATCO handbook, UNATCO in the public. In carrying out their duties, UNATCO agents often come in contact with the public. You are a peacekeeper, and your first objective is to safeguard human life. Though terrorists may see an advantage in harming civilians, UNACO agents do not. Issue a warning before firing at a suspect, and always instruct bystanders to get on the ground. Refrain from firing into large crowds. Every civilian hurt is collateral damage. However, keep in mind that no civilian with a clearance below Angel slash OA should be trusted and may be a potential spy. Anyone can be a spy, and secrecy is our ally. Remember, we're all in this together. Well, that seems a bit contradictory, but all right. Yunako Handbook. Welcome to Yunako. Classification. The UN has nine levels of security above top secret. This manual and all material that is not otherwise masked and marked is classified as Angel slash OA. If you are not Angel slash OA or above, re report immediately to your supervisor or face disciplinary action. Other classifications will be explained upon reaching higher clearance. In its efforts to combat terrorism, the UN has created UNATCO for the swift deployment of a coordinated force to counteract any insurgent operations. You are justifiably proud to be part of this organization. Your physical capabilities place you within the upper 1% of national ground combat units, while your mental capabilities have been honed to sharpness by the UNACO Academy. But as part of a larger organization, you, must, you also understand the necessity to heed orders from your superiors without hesitation. Your superiors are typically briefed on matters for which you may not be cleared, and hesitation on the part of an agent can result in the serious impairment of mission objectives and attendant casualties. But it's also true that I might be in, in possession of information on the ground that they might not be in. Isn't that right? Inacto has faith in you, and this faith will be rewarded in due time as your operational capacities are increased. Brave the darkness, for you carry the torch of freedom. Auto. Unnecessary capitalization there, but alright. Go. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Manderley said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Oh, is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD, password Bionic Man. Alex already told me. Thanks. I detest when these players refer to themselves as a family or whatever. Ooh. Mr. Manley, just FYI, your new password is Knight underscore Killer. I know you led that mission in Paris against that old terrorist organization or whatever it was. Your login is still J Manderley. Janice. Alright, thanks for the information. You really shouldn't leave critical information like that out in a data pad like that. Knight Killer J Manderley. Alright. Was it Lay or Lee? Or whatever. Nah. No? Oh, yeah. He's waiting, JC. Lee Manderly, Knight underscore killer. Wait, oh. Wait. What's the idea, JC? Yeah, confused. Right. J Manderly up there, and then Knight underscore killer. Skull gun from G. Herman. Might I suggest again a skull gun from my head? Yesterday in Battery Park, some scum. Now oh, what was his voice? I don't even remember. When oh no, pushes smack for NSF gets jumpy and draws. I took two twenty twos, one in flesh, one in arms, before I can get that out. That damn assault gun. <laughs> if I could kill just by thought, it would be bet a beater. It is my job. Is it my job to be a human target practice backstop? Gunther Herman. Huh. Gun in your head. That's not a bad idea, actually. Or me. You know, or or the very least, your some part of your body. It makes sense. 
I'm surprised they haven't done that already. Let's see, our little experiment should be arriving soon. Clear it for domination slash 5F ops as soon as possible, but proceed with caution. We have serious concerns about the primary unit and, we're, and would like to avoid any potential contamination. He's waiting, JC. Have we figured out what the primary and all that stuff is about? Should be fairly obvious by this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reporting for duty, sir. The man himself. Splendid. Do you accept my apologies about the situation topside? A refreshing change from the academy, sir. Don't despise training, my boy. Even you would be worthless without the shaping touch of drills and studies. So the NSF took a shipment of the Ambrosia vaccine? Give me a chopper and a pilot and I'll handle it. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Yes, indeed. But we're having your brother head up the recovery team. You'll work with Agent Anna Navarra. Why don't we meet when you've seen Jaime for a medical checkup and received your equipment from Sam Carter? You'll be briefed at that time. Yes, sir. All right. But I'm stealing your soda. Hey, who do you think you are? Jesus fucking Christ, that's who. That's enough, Agent. Well, you don't like me reading your book? Hey, who do you think you are? <laughs> okay, I guess that's what you care about, not the soda. Project Gibbuck, overview. Domination slash 5F clearance the med only. And armory are Shut up, I'm three. reading. The noted failure of previous attempts to create a low-profile rotary aircraft involved the acquisition and retrofitting of available military hardware that had neither the range, ceiling, nor electromagnetic transparency I've to got avoid work to do. Shut up. To avoid numerous eyewitness accounts of or unauthorized military interactions. In addition to exacerbating public misconceptions about governmental operations, such uh, such encounters also jeopardized Come back when you've seen Carter and Reyes. several key missions. Project Dibuck was initiated to address this issue through the creation of a stealth aircraft that could be used as a platform for a number of mission objectives. That's comforting, isn't it? Come back when you've seen Carter and Reyes. Yeah, 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 whatever. I might as well pick these things then. I don't think I'm gonna get the key for these. Ooh, what's this? Oh! Wait, hang on. Is that. No, not that. Okay, so it must be the other. Hell of a first day. Indeed. Okay, I'm glad I did them in that order then. Alright. So I got a, lo a lockpick and a multi-tool, all at the cost of a single lockpick. Oh, and whatever this is. Ah, accuracy modifier. Anything else? Midnight Sun. U.S. Prez sells out. <laughs> New York. President Philip Riley Meade's executive order repaying the United States debt to the United Nations is viewed by many as a positive step towards global peace but others sense darker motives at work. Some sources have privately commented that the order is nothing more than a tacit endorsement of a new world government and its private military, the United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition, UNATCO. Few can forget Meade's impassioned declaration that the shattered Statue of Liberty would not be repaired, but instead stand as a reminder that terrorism must be eradicated if we are to be free. It was shortly thereafter that the Liberty Island was selected as the location of UNATCO headquarters. Their dubious charter, highlighted by the mysterious and still largely unexplained circumstances behind the statue bombing. No doubt President Meade's words will be remembered, even as he sells out his country to the foreign powers that have sought to destroy it for nearly three centuries. Joe Green, senior staff writer. Indeed. What do, I, what do I even drop? So yeah, Unaco handbook, Unaco in the press. Because Unaco will often deal with situations that cannot easily be contained, agents may unfortunately need to interact with the press. Dear God. If you are not trained for such interaction, do not, repeat, do not speak with journalists, regardless of nationality. They are skilled in misdirection and propaganda. 
refuse comment. Remember, security procedures are our first line of defense. Secrets are lives. Always refer reporters at crime scenes to UNATCO, information officers, and fact management teams. Alrighty then. Didn't know the NSF had so many people in New York. Indeed. That was a close one up there. Indeed. Let's see anything in here. Hey. How unprofessional. How do you have an awful voice? Hey. You're getting warm. <laughs> okay. Stealing all your red snacks. Hog. Looks like you found me. Yo, you look a lot gaunter in person. And that is, I is that supposed to be the shadow or a beard? I can't tell. <laughs> like leading a mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. Yeah. Don't worry, we shut it down when you go off duty. I guess I'll get used to okay, it. Okay, man. I'm Alex Jacobson, communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. Okay, that must have been Shadow. Okay, enough goofing around. You feel okay, JC? You're acting strange. They really want me to get into that damn combat, don't they? <laughs> I guess programming a working pinball machine would be a bit much. There's no way this is also... Actually. Now, uh, six, five, four, three. No, okay. Well, I could bypass it in one tool. Let's see if it's if there's anything useful behind there. God, this thing looks like those shitty commercials designed to scam old people. Like what? Based on stupid things that they think that. These are gonna do. Now, if I recall, somewhere around here. Ah, here we go. Come on, get down. Get down. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hang on a second. Office door key code. <laughs> damn it, I could have gotten that without needing to pick the damn lock. Shit. Hang on, be right back. Redoing all of that. Okay, here we are. Back here again. I don't know why I've... this is a weird thing. Alright, uh, oh, a scope. Do I really want a scope? Not particularly. Oh, I forgot to get the one thing. No, wait, no, I didn't. Okay, there we go. Eh, maybe I should grab the scope anyways, though. So. I'll, uh, put it in the... Maybe I'll put it under the crowbar. Can I stack additional things here? Oh, I'm stacking... I'm triple stacking them there. All right. This is a plan with neither flaw nor any possibility of error. Hmm. Let's see. Change German password to Zeitgeist. Next week I guess it'll be Schadenfreude. Strange guy. Okay. G... German... Was it two N's or one N? Two N's, okay. People really need to have better operational security. Zeit. Let's try Zeitgeist. Okay, that worked. I have personally forwarded your request to appropriation. Upgrading our combat readiness is an ongoing priority. 
Speaking of which, you certainly made the best of a difficult situation yesterday. We applaud your courage. Thank you for living to work another day, Jeff Gunther. We need more agents like you. So yeah, alright. There's that. Our new recruit, JC Landon will be joining us today after his stint at the Academy. And I'm assigning the both of you the task of keeping a watchful eye on him while monitoring his progress. He, his assigned cover name for the duration of his service will be JC Denton. <coughs> we thought it would be best to keep the cover names within the family since Paul has already received the Denton code name. I have great faith in you both, and trust you will do your utmost to ensure that he becomes a successful and productive member of this organization. Until further notice, I'd like to receive weekly reports with your observations. JN. Alright, I question the, the, uh, sense of linking the codenames like that. Slightly defeats the point of a codename, but, oh well. Grey Death, look to the sky. New York, no student of recent history can fail to miss the irony that the greatest enemy mankind has faced in the 21st century was not any despot or dictator, but the lowly microbe. I question that, but alright. Millions upon millions have been killed by the pandemics of AIDS, re resistant tuberculosis, and a century flu. And now we face our greatest threat yet, the Grey Death, a plague of devastating efficiency that has surfaced in the last year. But was this plague an accident of nature, or a design of science? <laughs> Dr. Kenji Ishii of the New World Biomedical Health Center in New York thinks not. My analysis of this plague indicates that it is decidedly unnatural in origin, and in point of fact, may be extraterrestrial. We went on to speculate about those afflicted. Obviously, a disproportionate n number of the indigent seems to be infected, a situation that makes perfect sense if you consider it a pr uh, consider it prelude to an invasion. No more effective way to disrupt the social, political, and military fabric of Earth has yet been devised. If this is so, then what are our leaders not telling us, and how can we be prepared? Only they, uh, only they know the answers. The answers, you mean. Joe Green, senior staff writer. Ah, here we go. Medical bot. Not only can I heal all, I can also apply either microfibril muscles, which allow me to lift heavy objects, or combat strength, which increases the, the effectiveness of melee weapons. Which... Hmm. Like, on the one hand, considering that we're playing as a rather melee focused character, you'd think that this would be quite good. But the problem is that we get a pretty sizable bonus to our damage from being in stealth. Loot 10 times the damage. I mean, like a basic baton, it only deals 70, but it, but with, it only deals 7 damage. But with. The stealth bonus, that'll be 70, with the two times damage from hitting them in the torso, uh, that'll be 140, and with ma with a master level uh, low tech skill, that'll be two uh, that'll be 280. So that's considering the basic NSF trooper has only 100 health. Yeah, that's pretty fucking good. Even. Even later game enemies like the uh, MJ, tw uh, like the uh, Commandos later on, only have 250, which and by that point I'll almost certainly have master level low tech. However, there is at least one type of enemy that that I might encounter, uh, not commonly, but not as a rare, uh, but not as like an extremely rare enemy. Not like a straight up mini boss or anything. Uh, which have enough health to not be knocked out of one every minute. However, that's where the riot fraud comes into play. Because that has a little over double the base damage. And even if it doesn't knock them out, it stuns them, at which point. It, and does a big. It does a chunk of damage, at which point I can either go for a second prod. Hit, or switch with a baton and take them out. And worst comes to worst, I can always just use the tranquilizing darts and run, and run away. Or, uh, or take, or use the gas, gas grenades or pepper gun for a similar effect as, the, as using the riot pod and switching them to the baton. They can, they'll also stun them. 
Because, of course, you don't actually... Uh, I say it's a stealth bonus, and technically you don't have to be uh, undetected, you just have to be striking them in the back, and also be, like, basically hugging them. So, yeah. Although, of course, uh, I think I'm pretty sure, I think stunning them negates the stealth, the back hit bonus, but it also gives its own multiplier, which isn't as high, but nitty-gritty stuff. So, this is all to say that the strength, that the combat strength upgrade will help, but not nearly as much as you might think. On the other hand, while that does help, microfibril muscle, that can open up options to avoid enemies entirely or to f or to find secrets that I might not be able to access either uh, uh, otherwise which might have items or secret passageways or what have you so while this helps in some ways this this will be very very useful potentially and as a convenient thing I don't actually need to upgrade the microfibril muscles much. I think I, once you get to them to level two, then you can, then you'll be able to lift basically anything. Uh, there's like one thing that you need to, that you need level three for, and nothing that you need level four for. Well, I guess, I mean, Bert. There's a whole mechanic where, like, it'll affect your max lift capacity and also how how large things you can push just by moving into them. And the, and there's these things like the, like burning barrels, for instance, which will require which are just high enough that you can't lift them even with the highest level, but you can push them with the highest level. It's a whole thing. But yeah, basically, level two is going to be the highest that you ever practically need. Or want. So I could save some of my uh, upgrade thingamajogs. Thingamajogs? What the fuck is a thingamajog? Whatever. So microfibril muscle. Hmm. Well, th uh, and there's also a trick you can do. It says uh, it requires the energy rate 20, per minute, 20 units per minute, but you can actually. What you can do is you can activate it, pick up something, then move into a wall move it into a wall, and then deactivate it, at which point it'll say, oh, you can't drop this here. And then it will de be deactivated, but you'll still be carrying it. Anyways. Uh, even just gra getting this at level 1 means I can put, I may lift those medium metal, uh, medium metal crates and such. Getting to level 3, and they'll be able to pick up the largest of them. I think I could already lift that. Janine's bot affects an overview. Matsu Gravis GV4 Nightingale Medical Bot. The Matsu Gravis GV4 is the newest addition to the MG line. Their first foray into the medical bot category, largely monopolized by Page Industries and Chang subsidiary Heal Tech. Unlike the competing Page or Heal Tech units, <laughs> The MG GV4 benefits from a completely proprietary operating system developed at MG's research campus in Prague that promises to revolutionize automated healing by combining a comprehensive medical and pharmaceutical database with MG's already proven autonomous heuristic routines. I know some of these words. While actual field data is sketchy at this point in time, anecdotal evidence suggests that the GV4 can heal wounds far beyond the capabilities of any other other competing model, though it does require a substantial recharging period. Huh. Very useful information, I'm sure. Damn. You can only carry... What is it? Ten of them? Lame. Hey, JC. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people? Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. We'll have to catch up later. I've got to leave for New York right away. Could you send Manderly whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, JC, about your augmentations. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? As long as I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. 
Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation soon canisters. nothing. Great. Have anything for me? Not yet. But remember, if you find one of these canisters, then you need a med bar for installation. Way ahead of you, man. I'll do that. The I'll canisters have contain that. a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades. Others require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. I'll bet. One more thing before I go, since you've been briefed on my augmentations. What can you tell me about the info link? Let's see. Micro receiver exostructure in the sulci, mechanocarbon threads on the axons. Procuring, you know, packet routing. Anything particularly interest you? Is there a way to turn it off? The info link? Yeah, or someone at UNACO tuned in 24 hours. This might sound a little funny, JC, but I'm not permitted to answer that question. Your clearance is higher than mine? Regarding your systems, I am your physician. No big deal. I was just curious. Yeah. The... The, uh, voice acting in this are a Years little funny at a couple Years of you're still all thumbs. But, considering it was done by, like, a couple of guys... Grew up Carter no saw the door and around None of the which... corner. He's got your stealth yeah. pistol. None of which are were actual voice actors. That's pretty good. You better head out. I'd say. Ooh, what's <gasps> this? Restricted area. And that's the mirror. It's secure. Thanks, I was really worried. <gasps> Evening, fellow robot man, bionic man, rather. Ooh, wood knife. My favorite kind of knife. Throwing knives. A favorite weapon of assassins in the Far East for centuries. Throwing knives can be deadly when wielded by a master, but are generally, more generally used when it becomes desirable to send a message. The message is usually, your death is coming on swift feet. Yeah, I'll pass. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Actually, hang on, how far can I throw these? That's eerily straight. Hmm. Well, if I didn't have my tranquilizer dart, uh, my, if I didn't have my crossbow, rather, those would actually be pretty useful. Dedication. Nihil Aliad Skit. Necessitous from Vincier. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Necessity knows nothing else but to win. Rhetoric, rhetoric, always more rhetoric. Yo! At ease, Agent Denton. General Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? That sounds fine. Thank you, sir. What else do you think you'll need? Uh... A lockpick, tech tool, ammo. Why can't I just ask for all three of these, damn it? A smart lockpick is always handy. Why is that in quotation marks? A smart lockpick is always handy. That's right. Infiltrate and evade. Engage only on your own terms. Yeah. Now move out. That's the Man threat. Waiting. Hey, what about that guy out front selling munitions? Is that allowed? Oh, Captain, right. We've got some screwballs around here, but he's not the problem. It's whoever's been breaking into the armor. Someone at UNACO's a thief? Yes, sir. And a damn good one. It almost sound like you respect him. Fair enough. I respect a good thief myself. 
have anything else to say? No time for chit chat. Evidently not. All right. I wonder who the thief is. I don't actually remember if it is ever revealed. I have to prepare for the mission. I'll bet. Mass grave in Brooklyn. Following to an outbreak of Grey Death that quickly overwhelmed all city services, the National Guard forces were placed on the command. I am not command. going to hold your hand. Shut up. You have your orders. Mobilized to help with the disposal of the recently deceased in Brooklyn. However, the National Guard soon proved inadequate in containing the chaos, and in many cases, the dead were simply left lying in the streets while the dying, mostly homeless, wanted the city until collapsing. Traffic jams and looting remain widespread, and as fear of the disease continues to escalate, frequent riots have made any attempt at an organized cleanup impossible. With the threat of secondary diseases looming, city officials have consulted with the CDC in Atlanta and ordered a mass grave to be dug in Gateway National Park. No civilized. Not that I particularly care about what's done with the dead, to be honest. I think people make far too much of a fuss about that sort of thing. It's not like Way to go, people. sir. It's not like they're people, after all. Just corpses. Gunther should have followed orders. Yeah, you said it. A pretty fucking stupid thing for him to do. Just stick around. Let's on level the two best. and let's move out. Paul. That will be JC's job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant, protected by weak groups of NSF. Knock out that plant, and Paul's team can walk right into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and, and go in. Go hard. in and go I'll in. Use my discretion. And go in like the go U.S. Like Marshal the US and Marshals. three daughters. When and lose, lose the, the vaccine, vaccine. I'm sending your butt to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarro, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue. Plus 250 for rescuing Agent Herman. That's 1250. We take care of our people around here. Thank you, sir. By the way, Denton, stay out of the ladies' restroom. That kind of activity embarrasses the agency more than it does you. Uh, those little details like that, you know. We'll meet up in the city. You'll come to admire your partner. She's one of our best. I'll be the judge of that. Ooh, boot camp for Betty. APR Portland. Madison High School's junior Betty Souza will be will spend the semester at the Canyon City Boot Camp, say officials. The crime? We have verified that she told another student that she knows how to make a bomb, said Principal Martin Gordley. How is that a crime? The knowledge that she of No, not even the knowledge, the, the claim that she has the knowledge. How of how to make a bomb. How the fuck? That's straight up thought crime. What the fuck? And we wonder why we have terrorists. Gee. Good fucking question. What makes this case notable is that the parents have filed a lawsuit against a good school district. Good! They. Fucking <laughs> good. Our daughter wears black, said Father Brandon Souza in a prepared statement. She has an occipital awesome jack, and we let her use it to play games. We allowed her to pl get a tattoo when she turned 16. But none of this makes her a criminal! The parents claim that Betty was discussing a novel by Tom Robbins taught at Madison High when the mention of explosives occurred. Betty Souza will not be alone in Canyon City. Last year, 15,234 young people served sentences in the state's FBI-run Good Behavior Camps, a legacy of the Northwest War. Fucking hell. We're the good guys, remember. Uh. Whatever. Leave from where you arrived, Denton. Yeah, yeah. 
We'll finish the job when we get to Manhattan. Oh, bad. <gasps> There's actually like a trick to opening doors like these. Wish I was going with you. <laughs> or rather, you get other people to open them for you using manipulation of the AI, because every AI, uh, every AI in this, I think every AI, or at least most of them, has the ability to open all doors, as you noticed with Gunther earlier. Good luck out there. Man, two dens in the field. The NSF won't know what hit them. Right. this one. Mead Bucks Congress. APR, Washington, D.C. Defying Congress for the third time this year, President Mead unilaterally paid the United States late dues to the United Nations. Like good tenants, we must pay our rent on time, he told reporters. What? Excuse me, your, your rent? What are you? Fucking... <laughs> You're not fucking tenants. You... What kind of nonsense is that? Rhetoric. Always more rhetoric. Leaders of both parties criticized the move. Where does he get the cash? asked Senator Rudon, the Illinois. Clearly from some budget item yet to be approved by this Congress. The Republicans were no kinder. This council member has been betrayed, and so has America, said Senator Osno Liverpool, or California. The Congress came together to approve a UNACO presence on U US soil, but we did, did not write a blank check. No, sir. A superpower does not pay rent. Indeed. Or more accurately, they would be that the freaking people should not have to pay rent. This crap. Because of course. Yeah. Good luck, Agent. Yeah, I'll need it. Oh yeah, that guy that charged the docks for some reason and got killed by the bot. Look at this bot design, by the way. Isn't, it, isn't that pretty neat? You don't see bot designs like that anymore. Kinda sad. The boat's ready. Right. Let's be off with us then, shall we? Be off is a weird way of saying that. Let's head out. And that will be the end of today's episode. As we sail off. Oh, pardon me. Gonna pause before we get into a whole discussion with that lady. Who's currently jogging right towards us even though we're like two feet away. All right, that, that whole cleaning up operation of the of Liberty Island took a bit longer than I expected. Oh so, yeah, no more. So yeah, that's all for today. Uh, not the most action-packed of of episodes, I admit, but this is really kind of the, a lot of the meat of this game is going to be the sort of like getting into the nitty gritty of the world, reading all these random bits and bobs, and newspapers and shit, and talk, talking to people, and also stealing from your employers. Ugh. So yeah, we've gotten yet more indications that some sh that there's some especially shady shit going on here. The fucking sending people off to boot camp just because the president allegedly knows how to make a bomb. What kind of crime is that? What even is that crime? Anyways, what it Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. But this is where shit like the FBI watch list and all that not uh, crap, surveillance state crap, leads you to. Criminalizing bullshit like this. And worse, as well. But we're the good guys, so. Because the enemies are terrorists, and that makes anything we do okay. 
Because we're fighting for freedom, remember? And they definitely aren't. <sighs> but until next time, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. Thank you.